every artist has their own style. Some paint with brushes, and some with their face. Redhead and Kelly decided to become artists. Titanic inspired us. Kelly, can you stay still? I'm almost done. So, show me how it turned out. Ready? Look! Oh! This is terrible! I knew I couldn't draw! Don't get upset! You're still my best friend! And there are a ton of drawing life hacks you can try! Art class! Everyone has bright and colorful sketchbooks! Only Redhead's sketchbook is sad and plain! Redhead decides to fix it herself! I can handle this! A round bowl and colored pencils! I'll color the cover of the sketchbook to match my style! Put a round bowl on the craft cover of a sketchbook! Trace different circles with a pencil! Divide it into sections! Draw citrus slices! Shade them in with colored pencil to create oranges, grapefruits, lemons, and limes. Redhead's sketchbook looks completely different the next day. Whoa, what a bright pattern. Your sketchbooks are so sour and fresh. What is Kelly cooking? A tasty dinner? A pie? Wrong. She's making homemade paints. She only needs flour, oil, salt, and some creativity. Mix three and a half ounces of flour with three fourths ounces of fine salt. Pour in four ounces of water. Whip with a mixer to get an even consistency. Add one ounce of sunflower oil. Divide the mass in parts. Add printer ink to each part. Pour the paint into containers. Her homemade paints are done. Now Kelly can even paint the kitchen. Kelly is going to customize her shopping bag. She has paints and her bag. She only needs brushes. What should she do? Here it is. Kelly finds a way out. She'll be painting with her headphones. Put a piece of plastic in the bag so paint doesn't stain the back. Draw a big eye. Cover a wireless headphone in plastic wrap. Dip the headphone in fabric paint and make a round imprint on the bag. Color the whole eye. Define the details with black contour paint. Add drops under the eye with blue puffy paint. Wait for the paint to dry and secure it with an iron. I painted an amazing pointillist picture using headphones. Why use a brush when you have imagination? Redhead is having the same problem. She has her own solution. This brush is already bald. It needs new bristles. Or maybe I'm not risking my own hair. But I can always borrow some hair from my boyfriend. Thank goodness he isn't bald. He's fast asleep. I need just one little strand. Thanks, sweetheart. You are so generous. Lay out a thread. Put a little wisp of hair on it. Wrap the thread around the hair. Trim the tip and attach the metal piece from an old brush to it. Hot glue the bristles to a wooden stick. Wrap a wire around the base. A brush made out of my boyfriend's hair is done. The bristles are so soft. You see right away that Arnold uses good hair conditioner. I can paint anything with this unique brush. Redhead can't pick a t-shirt. Nothing matches. She wants to make her gold skirt stand out. Kelly, what do you think? White or graphic? Hang on, Redhead. I came up with something. Kelly will quickly make a gold marker for a unique print. Add some rubbing alcohol to fabric paint. Stir it well. Fill a pipette with the mixture and pour it into an empty cuticle pencil. Close the pencil and paint it gold. Done! Redhead will love it! 
Redhead, give me your white t-shirt. You'll love it, I promise. Put a printed template of a flower branch in a white t-shirt. And light it up with your phone. Trace the lines with a marker. Copy the print with the gold fabric marker. Define separate details with a darker shade. Kelly quickly drew a gold print to match Redhead's skirt. Try it on! It's perfect! Thanks, Kelly! This t-shirt perfectly completes my gold outfit! Redhead is creating another masterpiece. She's using a lot of paint. More colors! Whoops! Her chain also wants to become an artist. Aww. My chain got dirty. Although, it made a nice effect on my painting. We're making a polyptych, a painting divided in four separate sections. Coat canvases with blue paint. Pour acrylic paint to each part. Spread it out with a wooden skewer. Dip a thin chain in pink acrylic paint. Place the chain on the canvases. Pull it to create patterns. Repeat with white paint. Create a few patterns. Shape flowers. Turns out a chain works just as well as a brush. My flower polyp tick is done. Sure, I'll try Redhead's new technique. Whoa! Turns out painting with a chain is super fun and easy. Whoa, look at these patterns! Take a mix of different shades of acrylic paint. Draw a butterfly on a canvas. Fill a pipette with the acrylic liquid and apply it to the outlines of the wings. Move a chain over the paint to spread it on the wing. Color the whole butterfly this way. Also add a darker shade to the outline and spread it over the wing to add details. Color the body, the head, and the antenna with silver paint. Apply splashes of paint to the background. Done! Redhead is decorating her wall. And my butterfly will perfectly match it. These amazing art masterpieces were made with a chain. And our white wall turned beautiful right away. The artists are looking for inspiration. Tangerine, tell me a new idea. Redhead, I know. We'll get some things and create drawings with them. That's a great challenge. Redhead gets a tangerine and a tea bag. And Kelly has a banana and a Q-tip. Let's test our imagination. Kelly already knows what she's turning her banana into. Put a banana on paper. Draw a person lying on the banana and some stars. Add a city skyline on the bottom. Wow, there's a guy lying on the banana. Well done, Kelly. Want a tangerine? I think I know what I can turn my tangerine into. Draw a mask with a sail around a tangerine slice. Add clouds and seagulls. Look, Kelly, this is a tangerine ship. It's so sweet that seagulls will eat it very soon. Or I will. We have harder challenges now. What can you do with a tea bag and a Q-tip? Draw on three. Draw a man in a suit near a tea bag using a black fine liner. Draw a tie on the tea bag. Show me what you did. Oh, a businessman put on his tea bag suit. And I have a boat with a Q-tip instead of an oar. Draw a man that holds the Q-tip as a paddle. I think we nailed our creative challenge. <laughs> Let's see what we have here. I need glitter, a lot of glitter. I'll use the best glitter to create the shiniest accessory ever. Let's start the glitter experiment. Trace a unicorn on a white phone case using a template. Apply glue and sprinkle it with different colors of glitter. Also coat the background with glitter. Add details with acrylic paint. And gold glittery stars using a template. Here it is, my precious! A cute little unicorn on a phone case. My glittery experiment went well. I ran out of artistic luck. I can't draw a straight line. What do I do? Redhead is using an old life hack for straight lines. A strip of tape. Bingo! This is what I need. Tape. 
It will help me create a great painting. Attach masking tape of different width to a black canvas. Create a pattern of transmission poles and power lines. Apply shades of blue and pink acrylic paint. Use a sponge to blend the paint all over the canvas. Paint clouds in a light color. Flick light paint off a brush to create a star-studded sky. Remove the tape when the paint dries. I created another masterpiece with tape! And I can enjoy my straight lines! Did you like our drawing life hacks? Then comment below which one you'll use! Will you make a brush from your boyfriend's hair? Create a painting with a headphone? Or cover everything with tape? And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up! Subscribe to our channel and click on the bell so you don't miss new life hacks from Troom Troom!